Hello everyone, welcome to video 7 of chapter 6. We will still be talking about uh, the branch and bond algorithm. So from the first example, we have seen this algorithm in action where um, at every step you will pick one and then you make two more branches and you solve it. And from the solution, you try to find the bound for the optimal value therefore the name and we also observe that it is quite time consuming to carry out this algorithm there are many many lp problems to be solved along the way okay uh, but um, well it works so let's take another example so here is um, the second example we'll, we'll go through um, we will look at a maximization problem and with the two constraints and uh, integral constraint also on the variable okay let's follow the algorithm so again we will be using lp assistant and uh, i encourage you to fill in the details and verify okay so um let's go through this problem in a diagram kind of a setting let's look at the diagram so for the initial problem and i put it in in lp assistant and solve it and this is the solution so z max is this value at x1 and x2 both of them are not um, integral so we need to pick one and uh, we need to branch out well, let's say we randomly pick x2 and we form two constraints. x2 now we know it lies between 2 and 3. So the two constraints will be x2 less than 2 or x2 bigger than 3. Then we form two um, sub-problems at level 2. These two problems can now be solved using LP Assistant. And then here we record the solution. We see that for 2a, we have the max, which is a bit less than that, and uh, x1 and x2. So x2 become integral, x1 is not. For the problem p2b, we have z max here, and then we have x1 is 6.5, and, and x2 is integral. So we see in both solutions, x1 is not integral. Okay, so let's analyze a little bit and see if we can find any bond. So here we can see that since this z max is 58 and a half, then we know if we add integral constraint, the um, largest integral less than that is 58. That's the maximum where the Zmax can reach. So we know Zmax has to be less than or equal to 58. So this is a bound we obtain. And now since uh, um, 2b has a bigger Zmax value, and then we're going to branch out from here. So um, now we pick x1 because it's not integral and we see 6 lies between 6 and a half here. This one lies between 6 and 7. So we form two distinct um, additional constraints, uh, x1 less than 6, x1 bigger than 7. So we have two more problems at level 3 to solve. Okay, so send these problems in uh, LP Assistant and solving them, we have the following result. For 3a, this is the solution. And we see that x2 is still not integral. And uh, for um, 3b, oh, sorry, that shall be a b here. And we see that the problem is not feasible. Okay, so... Um, so this is still not integral, the feasible one among these two. So we need to branch out further from 3a. 
Okay, then the, we pick x2 now, and uh, this is between 3 and 4, so we form two constraints. One is less than 3, the other is bigger than 4. And then we have, again, two more problems to solve at level 4. Okay, send them over to LP Assistant, and solving them, we found that 4a has this solution, which is integral, with a max value 57. And then 4b now has a max value 58, and it's also integral. Both of them are integral solutions. So recall now the previous bound that we have concluded, that is, the max of z is bounded by 58. And we see that the 58 is actually now attained in this solution. And therefore, we conclude that this one in red is actually the optimal solution. Okay, so um, that's how this algorithm works. You find a bound, and then later on in the solution, you see that a solution reaches this bound. Once this happens, and if the solution is integral, then you can stop. Okay, so that another successful um, carry out of the algorithm. Okay, so um, that's all. And uh, there are other examples in the textbook, and you should uh, read some of them just to reinforce your knowledge of this. Okay, so that's all for this video. I'll see you next time.